going to get organized and start a mutiny here. So here's your lunch, guys. Relax. Here, you ready? Catch. Catch. All right. Like I said, folks, I like to pop down here, show you guys a couple of cool Everglades survival tricks. Basically, when the native settlers lived on this land, there were no cell phones, hospitals, ambulances, all that stuff that we take for granted, We could they had to rely on the land for. So, let's see here. Alright, so what I have right here is just a piece of the green cattail grass like you see all over the place down here. And what I'm going to do is simply remove the outer green layer of the stem. I'm trying to talk over here guys, I already gave you your bread. Perfect. My little workstation right here. All right, so we started off with a piece of the green, cattail grass. I removed the outer green layer of the stem, then I just peeled out this white inner part right there. What we are left with is this. Sir, can you do me a favor and put your finger up in the air like that for me? Watch this, everyone. You are now wearing the first ever Everglades Band-Aid! <laughs> I'm gonna rip this in half, everyone pass it around, feel it. It is just yeah. like gauze. If I were to let that sit out overnight, yeah. it's actually gonna dry up and become a little sticky, and it'll wrap right around your finger like a Band-Aid, and just like a Band-Aid, it is going to help stop bleeding and also keep further dirt from getting into your cut. Yeah, buddy. He's got the right idea. I see a future doctor in our <laughs> midst right now. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, for my next little demonstration, I just got a piece of the green spattered off plant like you see all over. Now, have any of you folks heard of a product called the Life Straw before? The Life Straw? Wrap it around your finger, honey. All right. Well, for those of you who haven't heard of the Life Straw, it is a very cool product. You can get it down at Bass Pro Shops, any other outdoor store like that. And what you can do with the Life Straw is take it right out of the package, stick it into a canal, lake, or river, and then drink the water right out of that canal, lake, or river. The Life Straw itself filters out the dirt and bacteria from the water, making it safe to drink. Well, you guys want to pass around these spatter dock stems? Take a look at the stem. It is porous. You could use this as a straw to drink this water. And the stem itself is going to filter out the dirt and bacteria from the water, making it safe to drink. Now, the answer to the question you're all thinking right now, unfortunately, no. This is not something I demonstrate solely based on the fact that it is not a 100% fail-proof method. And if I drank water on all my rides, sooner or later, I would get very, very sick. So I'd also encourage you not to drink the water either, but I always get at least one person a week who does listen to me and does drink the water. Now, the water here is 100, you're welcome, is 100% 100 fresh water. There's no salt in it, it's not brackish, it is fresh water. The main source of our water is rain runoff. Anytime it rains in Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County, that water gets funneled into the canal system and gets brought right out here to the Everglades through one of the many, many pump houses. Now the other place we get rainwater from is coming south from Lake Okeechobee. Now if you've ever driven up to Lake Okeechobee, you know there's only one thing on either side of the road up going up Route 27 and that is sugar farms. Big, big sugar farms. So as the rainwater goes through that area, it picks up some of the sugarcane discharge, brings it south, and we'll do two things. First, the water here is a little murky, that's just because we landed. As we're driving around, you'll notice the water is pretty much clear. It has almost a little tint to it. That's stain. That's considered stained water, and that's from the sugar. The other thing the sugar will do is it will make it taste a little sugary. So, if you were to drink the water, which again, I highly, highly recommend you do not, it would taste a little sugary. Now, for my final little demonstration here, I just have one of the very pretty yellow spattered out flowers like you see all over the place down here. Hold on, if there are baby alligators, we need to get out of here. That thing right here? Yeah. That one is a giant alligator. So you got your close. Yeah. That is a mean, mean fish. Do not yeah. shake your hand in there. Oh, he yeah. has big, big teeth. Yeah. So look, please be careful. That alligator will bite you yeah. and it will. <laughs> right. Yes, no, that is not a baby alligator. That's a great find. That is a, that's a gar. That is a very, it's an actual very, very